this summit of a dead sleep one night. He said he woke up about two or three o'clock in the morning. And as fast as his hand would go, he wrote down this simple little country song. He said the first thing he thought of when he wrote it was Marty Robbins needs to do this song. We lived out in Bakersfield, California. <coughs> Marty lived out in Nashville. Dad got on the phone the next day, tried to try to find Marty, let him know he wrote him a song, but he couldn't find him. Finally got impatient, finally said, heck with it, I'll just do it myself. He recorded it, it was a number one song. It was nominated for Song of the Year that year. It's been recorded 450 different times now by different artists all over the world, and it's been number one seven different times. It's a great song. And I was named after Marty Robbins. Uh, Dad loved Marty, and uh, he named me after him. And uh, Dad and Marty used to do a lot of shows together back in the 70s. In fact, right up to the day that Marty died, Dad and Marty did a package show. It was a great package, too. Two great artists right there. But anyway, I got to know Marty very well during that period, and I used to spend more time on his bus than I did my dad's bus, you know, because Marty, Band and Marty liked to play poker, and I'd go over there and take some of their money from them. <laughs> but anyway, I got to know him so well, in fact, that when he passed away, I was asked to be an honorary pallbearer at Marty's funeral. So I did know the man very well. Here's a song my dad wrote originally for Marty. Try to imagine in your head Marty Robbins singing this Merle Haggard classic. Today I started the day with me And I'm right by where I've been always been I got over you just long enough to let my heart in Today I started loving you again What a fool I was I think I could get by Well only these few million tears I cried I should have known that the worst and they cry time for me and just be Yeah. 
started loving you again.